Hello everyone, Jose from Killabot again. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to replace a BMS on our HLX series batteries. If for any chance you do want to receive a BMS, if for any chance your battery did fail, um, you did something to the battery and you want to replace it yourself, uh, I'm gonna show you in these steps how to properly, safely repair, replace this BMS on these batteries. So first thing we're gonna do is take off, remove all the screws on the top of the cover. Uh, the cover has a total of eight screws. Those screws do come out to reveal the actual BMS. Let's get started. All right, now that the screws are off, the cover comes off. The screws are obviously gonna fall. Now on top, you're gonna see a bunch of cables. Uh, don't be afraid, the first thing that we are gonna do is uh, disconnect the BMS, which is the red cable that's on top of uh, battery. And I'll show you guys right here which cable it is. Uh, that safely powers down the BMS, so now you're able to work on the BMS without getting shocked. We're gonna disconnect the uh, heaters from the battery, so it's this red and positive cable. And now we're gonna disconnect the actual terminals. So now that we have all those cables disconnected, there's just four more screws that need to be removed before your BMS is completely separated from the pack. Now we just get the new BMS. This is the old BMS, the new BMS. So the steps is pretty much in reverse. We're gonna lay the BMS down. Ahead and connect back our heaters or our heater connections, which should be these two wires here one red, one black. Your black one goes connected to your black terminal or your black cable on the BMS, your red one goes connected to the red one. Now we're going to go ahead and connect our battery terminals to the BMS. Now once that is connected, we're going to go ahead and connect our communication cables that we disconnected earlier. And the last step will be to reconnect the B plus of the BMS. And now your BMS is uh, replaced. Now it's just a matter of closing up the case and just screw the screws back on. Now that we've replaced the BMS, we've closed up the enclosure, we've put the screws back on. 
uh, we would have to go back to the upper computer system as uh, I showed you on a previous video so how to upgrade the firmware. We will need to connect that computer back to this uh, battery and update the firmware on this BMS. The BMS is shipped without a firmware, uh, so there's no, no files written to that BMS. The BMS does not know what it's doing yet until that firmware is updated. Uh, so the next step is to update. So please watch the video, our video on how to update batteries or kilovolt HLX series batteries uh, so you could perform that firmware update. Uh, this is it for me today, guys. Uh, Jose again, uh, Product Development Manager for Kilovolt.